Claudio. Unseal. I mean, I really like this one, to be honest. It's fun. It's, it has a lot of stuff going on. Feels very clouded. This is so corny. Il mio potere! It's, it's, a, it's got that over-the-top, like, corny schlock. Which I really like. And this is cool. He catches them, and then he does his energy soul arrow right through the brainstem, as you can see. And the Arrivederci, and this camera angle, I think, is so cool. And the huge arrow. Like, this is an A. This is A. I mean, if, if, we're, we're, if we're to grade them S, A, B, C, D, I would give that one an A. Yeah. It's just, it's just so dumb. It's so anime, goofy, schlock, stupid, dumb. I like her cum face here, though. It's like nothing brings her more sexual pleasure than throwing her head into Horang's. And, and to be honest, Horang is a very good looking man in Tekken 8. I would also rest my head on his burly chest, right? But it's like... Look at that face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so at peace. And then Kablam. So that's kind of funny. Um, I mean, it's, it's so stupid, but I'm going to give it an A. It's pretty entertaining. Yeah. You're in for it now. Uh, that doesn't work for me. I've never understood, like, does this fit her character? Because I feel like this slam, it's almost like she does a rock bottom. Does she do a rock bottom here? Or, is it, or does she death fist or something? It's a rock bottom, right? And I, li I like the slam. Uh, like the camera. You're in for it now, and then she does a dorky anime stance. I mean, so much of me not thinking this rage art is very cool is because Asuka's character doesn't work for me. And I don't think she's meant to appeal to a 38-year-old 38 38-year-old 38 dork, right? But I, I don't know, I just find her tired, stereotypical, kind of cringy more than anything. And what is this? I mean, you're in the King of Iron Fist tournament. You're about to win. Like, yeah, I knocked him I knocked him into the air. I'm gonna give him a finishing blow. Give it your all. <laughs> and what the fuck kind of face is this? Like smug piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I like the slam, but in general, I just don't like this rage art. But it's also because I, I've never been a huge fan of Asuka, and this rage art just cements me in that belief that she... I, I just find her kind of corny. Kind of corny. Um, so this one's gonna be a C for me. What's my personality? Coffee. What do I like? Coffee. Hey, you do you do martial arts? Yeah, I do coffee. I mean, I got I kind of I got to say I kind of like this one. It's kind of goofy and funny. Yeah, I'm going to give it an A. 
I'm gonna give it an A. It's pretty unique. Like, for, first time I saw this rage art, I really liked it. But the more I've watched it, the more I feel it's not that good. Like, this, this is just Tekken 7 rage art, right? I knock you into the air, and then I follow up with hits. This part is just super generic to me. So now begins the part we're going to evaluate that's not just generic Tekken 7 rage art. And it's basically a Terminator inspired sequence where, you know, we see from Brian's point of view. And here, he looks super fucking badass. Like, I, I, lo I love this shot of him. But then, it's just a mock punch. It's just a mock punch, and I, I don't dislike this rage art. But half of me feels this is a wasted opportunity. Where's the minigun? Where, where's the steel beam? Where is him just sitting on top of his opponent and just pounding the shit out of him? Like, he's a fucking, he's the biggest psycho we have in Tekken. And this, this, there's nothing psycho about this sequence. I feel like there's too little personality. There's too little... Brian in this rage art outside of a fact of just straight up saying, oh, by the way, he's a cyborg. He's a cyborg. So, uh, no, I, I feel like I, I would have wanted more, but still, I, I still think it's pretty good, but I'm gonna give it a B. A B. It's the fact that it's Brian. I don't know, I, I just expect more over-the-top shit. This one is one of my favorites, like, for many reasons. Like, just the laugh and the camera angle here. It's so, I don't know, Joker... Um, I, I just, I love that start. -up. And then just throws them into a portal, I guess. Teleports away with the chains here, looks really great. <laughs> Poor Kasia hanging here on a piece of rock with the chains. I love this. His voice. My arm is a gigantic laser sword, energy blade. And then the sound. His scream, and then the impact sound. And that camera, like, far away. This is one of the best rage rights in the game, in my opinion. I, I love it. Oh, and then we're going to this. And that's it. That's the rage art. Yeah, I don't know. I've heard some people say they like this one, but to me, it's almost like it's better in Tekken 7. It's more well shot. It's more dramatic when Dragunov walks up to the opponent. You only have a close up of his feet. And then the camera quickly switches to a close-up of Kazuya looking like, uh, Kazuya Dragunov looking like a psycho. And then he slams. Um, but here, you have this initial sequence. Kick them up while running two into the ground, but you can't really see the opponent's face or anything. It's like, it's very... It sh I feel like this sequence should be more dramatic than it is, but Dragunov looks pretty neutral. Another day at the job. Opponent just goes down. No face, no nothing. Feels pretty anonymous. And then here, you see from your opponent's point of view. 
But again, there's not much to this. I don't know, we, we've seen this before, and it was almost better executed in Tekken 7. There's an ice effect, there's a frost effect. But I, I, I just really dislike this, this rage art. Um, I, I, I read someone saying that in this sequence, here, they expected Dragunov to point, and then a tank would be there, shooting at the opponent, and I was like, well, that just sounds a thousand times better than what they did. So th this, to me, is a wasted opportunity. Reiterating the old rage art, but honestly, almost doing it worse. This is a D. This is the first D for me. What sells this for me, more than anything, is just how scary Feng looks. And also, his, I love his voice. He sounds so fucking intimidating. And also that sound effect when he slams, or when he hits it. Now what is this, like, Divine Dragon Fist, or... How old is he? 26, I think. I really like this one, but I don't know if it's an S. Maybe I'll put this one in A as well. This one is difficult. Like, from Horang, we want to see personality, right? And we get it here. Man, what a hassle. Start up super good. Does he do a skyrocket here? Yeah, he does a skyrocket. And then jumping kicks, cool. We get to see this. Yes, please. But the sound here is so good. And this, this is a really cool, yeah. Very cinematic uh, angle here. Uh, I would have liked a one-liner when he falls down here. A one-liner, but I guess you're pissing me off. Is what we get. I would say an A. An A. Oh, and here's Jack. And yeah, this is an A for me. Calling down his photon cannon. Very cinematic, very dramatic. Love a camera work. Little comedic touch that he knocks himself down. Oh, and this is also one of the weaker ones, which is funny considering it's it's the first rage art they showed. Yeah, man, it's just it's so bare bones. This is where I also expect like some gym players to say Tekken Seven rage art was better, and it's not with. <laughs> It's ca kind of few characters, I think, in the roster where you can actually even have a debate there and say... I mean, j just compare Tekken 7 Kazuya Rage Art to Tekken 8 Kazuya Rage Art. It's a joke. Like, uh, the Tekken 8 one is about a hundred times better. But with, with Jin, you're very fair in saying, like, I, I think the Tekken 7 Rage Art is better, and I'd be like, ah, oh, fair enough. 
maybe I would even agree. Um, there's just so little going on here. Try this. Knocks them up. The wing there is pretty cool. That's pretty nice. I, you love the startup. But then the problem is, what does he do? One demon pole. That's it. I mean, you, you saw this. And you were like, oh, let's go, motherfucker. Give it to him. Do it for your mama. And then what does he do? One demon pole. And you don't even feel the impact that much. But I, I like the... Um, I like this one. Way he does this. So that saves it from D. So I'll give it a C. Here I like the sound design more than anything, to be honest. And to be honest, it, it's, it fits June. There's not a whole lot going on, but this is what June is, right? Let me cleanse you. Oh, Leon nutted. Oh, maybe he did. Uh oh. <laughs> she certainly gave him some relief. <laughs> With the cleansing, there's an 80% chance the victim ejaculates, and for Leo, it was indeed his first time. <laughs> 18 years of build-up for that nut. Wait, J June gets B. June gets a B from me. Yeah, th this is S. Easy S. This is just perfect. Don't get cocky. Kazuya looking badass as fuck. The face here, as he's about to punch. Turns into devil, smug face. Super cinematic. And Kazuya's coat here in the wind from the explosion just... Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh behind him, flies up. Indeed, e even Wilhelm gives it the ish of approval. And then Masku pose here. It's just, yeah, S tier, for sure. Faint image, thanks for the 16 months of support. Thanks. Ah, yeah, yeah, this one, this was one of the biggest misfires for me. When you saw his trailer when it dropped and everyone lost their fucking minds. And rightfully so. It was so epic. And then, you know, you saw him do a pedigree for the first time, RKO, you know, and I was, as a wrestling fan, I was losing my mind. My, the pedigree is like my favorite wrestling move of all time. I mean, it could be Stone Cold Stunner, it could be Tombstone. But the pedigree is like, it's probably my favorite finisher of all time. So him see, seeing him do that was so cool. And then you see, uh, and you saw his heat smash, you know, the ja jumping jackknife powerbomb. Everything about that trailer was perfection. And then when you saw the rage right, the buildup was so good. And then when he lands, uh, just a huge fucking dud. It's, it's probably the most anticlimactic moment I've had on a Tekken 8 trailer, is his rage art.
Like, what is this even? Did he fart? <laughs> no, but what, what he does, all of this build up, and he comes down like a fuck, fucking uh, meteor, and to do what? To do a fucking hold, a submission hold. He falls down into a submission hold. Does that make any sense? I mean, you, you know what, I, the first time I saw this, I thought we were gonna see the biggest fucking pile driver of all time. Or he jumps up, slams them into, throws them into the ground, and then comes down with a huge elbow drop or something. And then, you know, he lands on top of them and he goes, one, two, three, Urgh, I win, you know? But instead, it's like... I was so confused first time I saw this. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But uh, just a wasted op opportunity, I feel. And when I compare it to, like, Zangief's uh, critical art uh, in, uh, in Street Fighter, which is so short and sweet, what, he kicks them, and then, what is it he says? I don't remember the voice line, even though I rewatched it so many times. I mean, he jumps up with them, and then comes down with, what, what is it called, his, uh, his command throw? Uh, a this is your last, yeah, something. His SPD, yeah. And he comes down, and you get this huge wide shot. And it's like, uh, and he's, he's tiny, and there's this huge crater. You get a huge <laughs> sense of, like, impact. And it really has that oomph. And this, yeah, this is just so... I don't know, it, it, it's just such a dud in comparison, yeah. This is your last ride. Yeah, that's what he says, thanks. Oh, wait, wait, so Kings is... To be honest, I need to put King in D. I need to put him in D. It just doesn't work. It, do it doesn't work for me at all. I mean, it's, it's pretty funny. Oh, is Nina showing her panties here over and over? <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> what, can we see vagina here? Or what the fuck is this? I almost don't even want to pause. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, that's minimalistic. Yeah, was that terms of service? Like, I got, I legit got worried. But I don't know, it's, uh, it's pretty funny, but I'd rather see Kuma beat the opponent. I don't know. B? B? I kind of like this one, and it fits the character. It's pretty cool. This is gonna be SRA.
I think for what it is, and the, and you know, it suits the character so well, and it is very, it's just very well made. This might be S. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it an S. It's it's really good. Yeah, I'm not Lars' biggest fan, but it's really cool. It just it also helps that Lars is so beautiful. It, Lars is so fucking hot. He's too good looking. <laughs> Lois is so good. Lars is, uh, Lars is so good, but here we don't have, uh, the knock, if he KOs with this, you know, you have this close-up and he does the Bruce Lee face, it's just, uh, it's perfection. That one's an S. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, you like this one, Zion. Oh, you guys like this one. I was so disappointed when I saw it. I was really... Lee's new rage art is him just throwing a fucking grenade at the opponent? That's the rage art. I'll throw a grenade at you and it explodes. Oh, you feel this makes up for it, but there's a flower explosion and he poses. Yeah, I, li I like that too, but still, it's, it's a grenade. I don't know, I almost think the, the Tekken 7 one is funnier and cooler. He does his machine gun kicks, and then turns his back uh, to the opponent, grabs a rose, and then throws it at them, and then says, well, what is it he says? Nah, I don't want you. And then he breaks their heart, and they take damage. It's like, that, that's funnier to me, and better. Um... <laughs> what is this outfit? I don't know. I don't understand the outfit. Is this Lee to anyone? I mean, I, I, I know we're trying to make him comic relief now. Like, he's Will Ferrell now, but... I don't know. I just... The outfit. I, I question the outfit. Yeah, I don't know. This is B or C for me. I think if he had said excellent in the end, I mean, it, it would have helped it for me, I think. Nah, I gotta put it in C. I was disappointed when I saw it. I just, I don't know, I expected more from Lee. He's such a big personality. Oh, and that, right, that's it. But honestly, this is kind of funny, though. I'm gonna fly around like a 12-year-old. Woohoo! Yeah, zip lining! Woo! <laughs> and I like that line. You can't look less intimidating than Leo. And then he said, Lich mach dich. Lich 
Lick my dick. Lick my dick. <laughs> it, it's kind of entertaining to me. It makes me laugh at least. Lich mag dich. It's it's so corny, but it's endearing. Um, but uh, can I can I score this higher than Lee's? I don't know if I can do that in good conscience. Nah, nah, C. It gets a C. I'm not gonna put it in D, though, because it, it makes me laugh. C. I really like this one. Like steel. Yeah, I also think A is fair. It's really, really good, but it's it's not, just not as eye-catching or oomph as the, the proper S-tier rage arts. But it is cool. So it gets an A, I think. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this ray chart. It's kind of minimalist, but uh, really well executed. From the initial shot over here, which looks super good. And then coming in like that, twisting in, ballerina stuff. And I love uh, the sound here. And I like the goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna give this an A. I really like it. Oh, this one's shit though. You're not getting away. Mama's here. Die in silence. <laughs> Die in silence. After firing two Glocks 27 times. Die in silence. This is the world's best assassin. <laughs> well done, Nina. I don't know, it's just so vanilla. You're not getting away. There's no oomph to anything. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. Die in silence. It's just charisma void. Charisma void. Die in silence. Yeah, <laughs> Victor dies like an old man. Uh, heart attack. <laughs> Holy shit, died of old age. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I really dislike this rage art. I gotta say, I, f I find her Tekken 7 rage art better when she does the Black Widow or whatever, spin a Rooney on them, breaks her arm. Die in silence. <laughs> <Goodbye>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Victor makes this better than it has any right to be with that. Um, Victor, Victor takes this to B. Without Victor, I would say it's like a, it's like a D. I would say, yeah. I like this one. I, I don't know. I'm I'm not ashamed to say it. Like, when when this happened, and Xiao Yu landed here, I thought this was how it was gonna end. It was gonna go kablam here, and then Panda waves to the camera, and then the camera pans out back to the normal, you know, we're fighting angle. But this caught me off guard. Oh! And that made me laugh. Uh, no, I, I really like this one. Yeah, this one gets an S from me. It's, it's just so stupid. I'll show you. Boss! Strongest in the universe! Before they they gave it this uh, the tear of the arm, this was a C, I think. B or C. But when they added this, it went to A for me. You won't see this coming. Mm, I like Raymond. <laughs> Nothing personal. I love that final impact. Boom! With the X. Like you really feel it. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that sound. Like I, I I love all of this. But this is A for me. But the sound from the final kick is what pushes it to S. And then followed by nothing personal. Yeah, it's S. S. This is like the best rage art in the game, I think. Followed by. I think Kazuya also has a case for best rage art in the game. I think Devil Jin has a case. Oh, so many Mishimas with good rage arts. But this rage art, more than any other rage art, feels more like what Capcom are trying to do with Street Fighter, like push personality in the rage arts. Have a lot of, you know, facial expressions and mimicry. Uh, mimicry, is that the right word here? This one... Pushes personality so much. And the final shot here is incredible. With the, I mean, it looks super good, but also the Hachi reference here and the and the moon. I haven't quite figured out like where she takes the opponent with this Azazel looking shit or wherever fuck we are. But, um... I guess we see some of it here as well, with chains... Oh, no, no, okay, that's, that's the stage. I'm an idiot. Um, but uh, yeah, that one is an easy S. Uh, easy S. Um... Might be the best rage art in the game, for me. <laughs> this one made me laugh. And I saw it. <laughs> Your skills are worthy of my respect. I mean, it's it's so fucking dorky. It's so fucking dorky. It's time to fly. 
<laughs> this is so dumb. Does he actually have time to say all of this? Your skills of, are worry, worthy of my respect. However, the one standing victorious shall be me. Does he actually say all of that? Those of you who know Arabic. He says it's time for wave riding in Arabic. Does he really? He says it's time to surf. Does he? Does he say that? That is so much better. That is so much better. It's time to surf. Dear God, it even gives him some, dare I say, personality. It's surfing time. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would laugh. I'm already laughing, but it would make it even more fun if he said that. And I, I kind I kind of like it, bro. I don't know. It's a B or an A. B or A. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna give it an A. I just wish they. It's. I, I, if he had said, if the subtitle had said, it's surfing time. It this would have might have been an S. Now this is what I call fun. That's a knockout! Good night! Aww. That's what I call fun! That's a knockout! Like, all of this is really cool. If, if I played this without sound, I'd be like, damn. What an amazing uh, rage art. But when I play it with sound, as I usually do with my video games, <laughs> these sound effects. <laughs> Is that on purpose? That it's supposed to sound like an episode of MacGyver from 1992? <laughs> I guess this is on purpose, but the sound effects here. <laughs> and then the voice is just. Yeah, I don't know. And that's a knockout! Good night. But it's, it's that, that, that one really hurts my ears. The last, good night! Good night. Good night. Yeah, it's just his, his, his voice <coughs> is just... Yeah, he sounds badass. I know you like the voice, but I, I just have a really hard time with his voice in this game good night good night i would say a but honestly with with his voice lines which i find terrible That's a knockout. good night no no uh, i i would say and that's a knockout. That that could the still for me potentially for streams TMM love. Hey, thanks, but shut up, thanks. It, it could potentially be even with the and that's a knockout. That's a spicy meatball. That could still be potentially a for me. But when he knocks him down, the camera goes to his face and he says good night. <laughs> that's right. It's good night for you, Steve. And it goes to C. I, I can't. Good night. That one. Good night. I can't with that one. Let's see. This is also so fucking anticlimactic. D dude has a knife. He's got a Glock. He's got his super fucking sci-fi sword. And all he does is fucking... Just... Oh, big samurai stab. 
that we've se seen 55,000 times. It's, this was also so anticlimactic when I saw it. I felt so anticlimactic. N not as anticlimactic climactic as King, but I thought I was gonna get an S S tier rage art. And it, it's not super bad, but it's like B. It's like B, I would say. I don't get how this is all you do. He takes out his sword, charges up a little bit, and then one stab. The classic samurai stab comes out on the other side. Yoshi's rage art does this, but like 10 times better. Um, so yeah, B. Oh, oh I, f I even forgot about this rage art. All I know is that this is one of the worst ones. Oh my god, yeah, that's all, that's all you do with Xiaoyu. Known for his stances, being super evasive, jumping around... And all you do... ...is a little hit sequence into a palm strike. And I mean, with the camera here, I also- I can't fucking tell what she's doing. Yeah, I don't know, like, uh, if I was a Xiaoyu main, I'd be so disappointed with this. Wait, what, what is even her rage art in Tekken 7? Or she kicks them up into a palm strike. Or she kicks them up and does boom, I think. Yeah, even worse, basically. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th this is D. This is D. You know how Jin's rage art is not D, it's C. It's saved by that little sequence where the camera pans out and he gets a wing and he goes like this, right? It gives it something. Where's that moment in this rage art? This this has no moment. It's just bop 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 bop. My goof. Ah, Lord Yoshi. I love how he turns off the light. You see that? Not or the light. I love that sequence. Turns off the light, and now you see, uh, I mean, it's so highlighted, the... Um, God, what what you call it? Självlysande in Swedish. Uh, the glowing elements of his outfit really stand out here. And then I love this, it's almost like a homage to, uh, I don't know, classic cinema. Shows up, 360 stab. And how cool is this? This effect here, the lighting. Again, like compare that to Victor's rage art, and it's it's a bit laughable in my opinion. Uh, that's either an A or an S. I think I'm gonna put it in S. Does she create a huge, like, magic ball or something? And she can reach into it? Yeah. 
she traps the opponent in some energy sphere or something where they get super small and she reaches into it and crushes the opponent. Oh, she, oh, she, oh she's here, right. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but it's not—it's nothing mind-blowing. But I'll give—I'll give it an eight. An eight. I think. It gets an eight. It's pretty cool, but it's a bit confusing. It moves too quickly. Yeah. And we need more of a reaction from the opponent. Imagine if the emo if opponent had a reaction shot when that arm comes in, going like, "Oh!" That's what Street Fighter would have done. Oh, and then you make it crushed. Pfft. What it would have added so much to it. Just, just add some, um, you know, character moments. That's what we're here for, you know, the characters. <laughs> JP Super. Ah, it's so good. So good. But Manon's super, uh, Ken's super, um, I mean, every super, Ryu, every super is so good in Street Fighter 6. What's even a bad super in Street Fighter? Like, they're, they're all so well made. <laughs>